Our next guest is a uh, very funny young uh, gentleman. He's making his network television debut with us tonight, and he'll be performing this weekend uh, right here in New York City at a place called the Comic Strip. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mike Berbiglia. Mike. <laughs> Uh, Dave got my last name right. It's Berbiglia. Everyone gets it wrong. When telemarketers call, they'll be like, good afternoon, may I speak with mister? Oh, man. <laughs> Gabigaboo? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Gabigaboo doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> Even automated telemarketers get it wrong. They'll be like, good afternoon, may I speak with mister? System error. <laughs> I got a girlfriend right now. She's a little bit older than I am. She's starting to get to the age where she's thinking about having kids, which is exciting because we're going to have to break up. <laughs> my, girl <laughs> hey. my girlfriend and I, we worry about different things. The other day, I was like, what do you fear the most? And she was like, I fear you'll meet someone else and you'll leave me and I'll be all alone. And she was like, what do you fear the most? And I was like, bears. <laughs> A bear is an intimidating animal, although I found out recently the animal that kills the most humans per year is not the bear, it's the hippo. I didn't even know hippos ate humans. I just thought they ate those little white marbles. <laughs> I thought that was the point of Hungry Hungry Hippo, that hippos are marblevores. Last week, my girlfriend calls me from work. She's like, you gotta take Tony, that's her cat, to the vet, because he's got a urinary tract infection. So I took him in, they give you this questionnaire about the cat, and I didn't know any of the answers. I got like two right. <laughs> cat and male. It said breed, and I wrote question mark brown. It, it said describe the reason you were here today, and I wrote my girlfriend is at work. <laughs> My brother lives on my block. He's always trying to fix my finances. He got me involved with an online bank, one of these flybynight.coms. Makes me nervous. It's like people my age running a bank. Sometimes the transactions don't even happen. Last week I called up. I was like, do you guys still have my money and everything? And they were like, dude, we are so sorry. We spent it all on Limp Biscuit tickets. I got an E-Trade account. Turns out I can turn $1,000 into $420 in, in less than a week. Sure, I had to pay some fees. Someone stole my wallet last week. The guy called me up. He was mad at me. He was like, you got to get your finances together. You've got no cash, your credit cards are maxed out, you don't even have minutes on your calling card. I had to use my card to call you. I like this rapper Buster Rhymes. You guys know Buster Rhymes? Sometimes he'll, yeah. Sometimes he'll have a real good rhyme. He'll say his name afterwards. He'll be like, cat in the hat and that was that. Buster Rhymes. <laughs> I'd like to do that with jokes. Like, I like drinking coffee, but if I ever reach a point in my life where the best part of waking up is Folgers in my cup, I'm not sure I want to wake up. <laughs> Mike Berbiglia. <laughs> I went to Los Angeles recently, and I saw people flashing gang signs in the street, and I didn't know what to do, so I go like this, I go, and they were like, what gang is that? And I was like, paper, scissors? <laughs> so they threw rocks at me. And I was like, paper beats rock. Mike Berbiglia. Thanks a lot, everybody.